It is honestly funny watching elongated muskrat uh, get upset about being asked a few simple questions that could easily be answered. All right, new this morning, former CNN anchor Don Lemon just released his full interview with Elon Musk, and now we are getting some insight into why the ex, formerly Twitter owner, uh, abruptly scra uh, scrapped uh, Don Lemon's deal with the social media platform right after the interview wrapped. CNN senior, uh, senior media reporter Oliver Darcy joins us now. Oliver, uh, tell us more about this interview. I mean, we saw some clips uh, late last week that seemed pretty fiery. How was the rest of it? Yeah, Jim, it's a window into who Elon Musk is and how he thinks. Uh, and I think what uh, the big takeaway is, is you're seeing really how radicalized by the right wing uh, Elon Musk, one of the most consequential people. He was never radicalized by the right wing. He's always been a right winger. Uh, living on Earth uh, has become. I mean, I mean, during this interview, he uh, attacks the news media. He misleads on diversity, equity, and inclusion programs. He equates moderating hate speech, really vicious hate speech, on the X platform to censorship. He lashes out. Elongated Muskrat loves censorship. Uh, make fun of him with a parody account and you get banned. Out against the advertisers who left the platform following uh, his anti-Semitic endorsement, which he only walked back after he had lost effectively a lot of money when those advertisers left. And most disturbingly of all, perhaps, is he continues to advance some conspiratorial notions, uh, uh, particularly one on the Great Replacement Theory. This is a racist great, uh, theory uh, that has been cited by uh, people who have... Uh, committed mass shootings across the country. Elon Musk says he doesn't believe... It's right-wingers that are always uh, spouting the replacement BS. And a lot of them claim it's Jewish people that are pushing the replacement of U.S. Americans with immigrants because they hate Jewish people. Even the theory, but then he gives a significant amount of credence to it. Let's take a look. You're conflating two things. One is great replacement theory. Uh, the other is, which I, I don't subscribe to that. I'm simply saying that there is an incentive here. Uh, if uh, legal immigrants, which I think have a, a very strong bias to, at least everything I've read, a very strong bias to vote Democrat. Um, okay, what about the ones that are conservative and vote for the right? I mean, this idea that, like, all immigrants, are democratic is pretty idiotic when you get a lot of them that are uh right wingers but it's funny how uh musk's fear of immigrants is they're going to vote for the dems the, the more more that come the country the more they're likely to vote uh, in that direction but it, it is in my view uh, a, the, a simple incentive to increase uh, voters, to Democrat voters. So you can see there, Jim, he rejects the name of the theory that he effectively then describes and gives a, a lot of credence to. Of course, that's worrisome to experts who point out that this theory uh, can and has led to violence in the past. No, it's, it's, it's absolutely an important uh, subject. And I, I guess, Oliver, you know, Folks might be wondering, why are we giving so much time to this interview that Don did with Elon Musk? But we don't hear from Elon Musk all that much in these kinds of interviews. So, I mean, the information that Don got out of Musk is actually very important. He runs a very influential platform. A very influential platform. And he does uh, rant quite a bit, I'd say, on the X platform. But it's rare to see him confronted uh, in an interview like this. And that's exactly what Don Lemon did, repeatedly asking him uh, a, a number of top, a number of questions that he obviously did not appreciate. Uh, and I think that's obviously what led to him canceling that partnership with X toward the end of the inter Yeah, because Elon Musk hates it when people give him hardball questions instead of softball questions like, what's your favorite color? Toward the end of the interview, Jim, uh, you can really see uh, that Elon is is no fan of Don, and it, it becomes uh, clear that he's uh, not pleased with how this interview has gone. Uh, why don't we take a, a look at, at the end of the interview when he's asking about advertisers, and you can really see that in, in Elon Musk's reaction. I have to say, uh, choose your question carefully. There's five minutes left. Okay, but so is this the same question you want to ask? The same question is you said you said that they are killing the company, but you're the head of the company. The buck doesn't stop with you.
Wow, that's a really hard question for him. You're the owner of Twitter. D doesn't this all come onto, onto you since you're the owner? And yeah, his actions is what is determining if the advertisers want to work with him or not. And him cussing out advertisers and telling them to leave is him killing his business, not the advertisers. That would be like somebody burning down their building and then like blaming everybody else for it. I acquired X in order to preserve freedom of speech in America, the First Amendment. And I'm going to stick to that. So then why do you ban people for making parody accounts? That's not standing for freedom of speech. And if that means making less money, so be it. Why would, this, why would that question upset you? You seem upset by it, are you? I think you're... And I'm not trying to upset you. The way, well, you are upsetting me because the way you're phrasing the questions, I think, is, is not cogent. Oh, poor little elongated muskrat. Got upset about being asked some questions. Oh, boo-hoo. Uh, you can see there he's obviously very upset, uh, probably not liking uh, being confronted by some of these difficult questions, Jim. Yeah, I love uh, the, the way Elon Musk was uh, responding to all of that. I'm, I'm a big supporter of free speech of the First Amendment. And Don Lemon, you're fired. I mean... Yeah, he wants to uh, end his contract with uh, working with Don Lemon because Don Lemon asked him too hard of a question. It's just hilarious. Give me a break, uh, you know.